drivers lang naman. Palakpakan natin, Mr. Ramon Turalba, everyone. Kami kaya yung ibang subscribe. Dito talaga siya nagdagay sa with more than 1,000. Test, are you guys hungry? I'm hungry. So, I have to apologize. My Tagalog is not very strong anymore because I'm actually Filipino-Canadian. And I moved from Baguio City. I moved to Canada when I was 10 years old. So, medyo mahina na pong Tagalog ko. So, I apologize. I'm gonna speak in English kasi it's more more comfortable for me. But uh, I've been a YouTuber since 2013. And since then, uh, basically, the way that it got started is, uh, I was here, uh, I moved here from university to become a teacher. So I was a teacher, and when I was teaching grade three, one of my students, uh, can you drop Baymax from Big Hero 6? Because they know that I'm the teacher that can draw. So I, I, I stopped my class, I stopped my lesson, and I just taught the students how to, teach, how to draw Baymax from Big Hero 6. And after that, I went home and I realized I can, I can reach a wider audience if I created this, if I did this on YouTube as a, like a, as a video series. So initially, I was just drawing, and I was vlogging about, because in Kilikopo is like watching movies, especially like Marvel movies. I say I grew up in the 90s in the Philippines. That's like Bioman, you know, like Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, uh, Ghost Fighter, like Marvel, plate text, that kind of thing. So I grew up with that. That was my lifestyle. So. Basically, I started to vlog about my interest in Marvel movies, and then, and then my audience grew from that, and then they wanted me to draw those Marvel movies, Marvel movie characters. So, it became how to draw Spider-Man, how to draw Captain America, how to draw Thor, how to draw Iron Man. So it became, it grew from there. And one thing I learned is that if you want to create um, if you want to create content, but you need to know what is popular so that you can ride the wave of the popularity with your content. So the, the way that my channel grew is that if, for example, the Avengers movie was what, when it was coming up, then that's when I decided to focus. I'm going to focus on drawing Avengers characters. And so when, when the other movies became popular that I focused on those movies as well, Batman, Superman, that kind of thing. So that's how I grew my channel. And so basically, I'm not an expert in drawing. I actually did not go to school to be, uh, to be an artist. I have, a, I have a science degree. I have my education degree. But because I am one of the ones that was showing this, the, the kids how to draw, one of the few. That's how I became popular. You, it's not your skill, it's not whether you're the best, but it, if you're the one that's putting out the content that people want, want to learn from, then that puts you as an expert. So, excuse me. Uh, through my vlogging channel, I also got to collaborate with a whole bunch of other YouTubers. The main one is my good friend now. His name is Mark Weens, and Mark Weens is a very popular uh, video blogger. We have a collaboration video, actually, if you go to Mark Weens' uh, channel. But through him, I learned how to monetize my channel. And he told me that you don't have to have, uh, I think now it's uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 uh, view hours. You don't need that to monetize. So what you really need in order to monetize is you have to understand that your your YouTube channel is is a business. So you need to start thinking about your YouTube channel as a business, um, and that the information that you provide that is your product. 
Okay, and and so uh, these are a few different ways. I don't have a lot of time, but uh, these are a few different ways that you can monetize your YouTube channel, even if you don't have enough uh, subscribers. So number one, you can promote affiliate links in your YouTube channel. Affiliate links are the type of links where you can you can say in your video, I have a, if you're interested in this product, I have a link in the description. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make, that, this, make that link an affiliate link. And basically that means that if you forward somebody to a product and they purchase it, you get a little commission. So that's called affiliate marketing. It's definitely Google that. It's worth it. Uh, there's also uh, sponsorships. So if you are a particular niche, then go reach out to different companies within that niche to give you products to promote, products to test, uh, products to review. Those are different ways that you can get you know, uh, sponsorships. Uh, you can go to websites like Grapevine or Famebit, and those are places that can link you with uh, different sponsors. Uh, another way, and this is also something that I do, is fan funding. So if you have enough people interested in your product or in your service, you can get them to pay you uh, through websites like Patreon. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys have seen YouTubers with Patreon, but there are a lot. Uh, ba Patreon is basically, it's them giving you change every month to keep doing what you're doing. And it's not a lot. Uh, for me, it's like one dollar, two dollars a month from a subscriber. But if you multiply that to, you know, fifty subscribers who are paying you one dollar a month, then that's that's already a significant amount. So with Patreon, you can also give perks, extra things for them, so you can provide them with extra behind the scenes of your videos or be, or, or or extra products, that kind of thing. So that's one. Um, so because you're creating the content, you also become the expert in whatever you're doing. So think of your information as uh, something that you can sell as well. So if you are an expert in, for example, in, in, in traveling uh, in the province that you are at, then that, that becomes you. Like you don't have to be well-traveled, but if you, know, uh, if you know certain spots and you're willing to share your thoughts on those certain areas, of where you live, and you can provide that as a uh, as information that you can sell. Uh, that's good for you. So, for example, uh, with my friend Mark Weens, uh, he and I collaborated together to make uh, his first ebook called "101 Things to Do in Bangkok," and that's just a compilation of 101 things that you can do in Bangkok, and that's information that he was able to put together in a book. Uh, I helped him design the book, and he sold it for five, five dollars uh, through his website. And it's not hard to make an ebook if you know the apps, if you know the computer programs. All you need is Microsoft Word and some sort of publishing. You can put your information on there, and then you can just publish it. So uh, for example, 10 things that you can order from this market and turn that into a book that you can give out, you know, online as an ebook. So those are the kinds kinds of things you can do. So you can sell your information. You can also do guest guest vlogging. Guest vlogging. Uh, you can create e courses. So if you're like me, uh, and you can sell, like if if you have like a, a skill that you can monetize, um, I'm able to create courses as well if I wanted to. I don't have the time. But you can also create like uh, Coursera courses if you want to. Um, there's also merchandising. So you can put uh, your logo, you can put something that is about your channel, you can put it on a, on a print-on-demand t-shirts. So you can look online for different uh, print companies that can print your logo for free. All you have to do is upload it, create an account, upload the image, Onto, on, onto, into the website, and then they will print it, 
they will get most of the money, but you get a little bit of commission as well. So that's print-on-demand services. Um, you can do that. Uh, Teespring, Zazzle, Cafe Press, Shopify. Those are different places that can print your logo on t-shirts that you can sell to other people. That's another way for you to make money. Uh, you can sell your own products in Etsy and eBay. And you can start a blog. You can monetize that blog. Or you can start a podcast and you can monetize that podcast too. So there's different ways to make money aside from relying on YouTube advertisement. And if you, if you really want to grow your YouTube channel, you have to think outside of, uh, of, of AdSense. You have to think of outside of YouTube advertising because YouTube, YouTube will always be hit with uh, controversies that will fluctuate your, your view count. So don't always rely on them for money. Always try to think of your, uh, your YouTube channel as a business and grow outside of YouTube as well. So that's my recommendation and that's sort of how I got to where I am. Where uh, even now, I haven't made a, a video in a month and a half, I think. But I am still able to, because of all the passive income that I've created, I'm still generating some money, some income from it. So uh, I hope I was able to share a little bit of something. I wanted to show something to you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know what a silver play button looks like, this is what uh, an actual YouTube silver play button looks like for 100,000 subscribers. So that's what it looks like. Anyway, thank you you guys so much and thank you so much uh, for inviting me to this event. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramon Taralba, for sharing your experience with us. This time, we cannot let this woman go without sharing her journey as a TFC News and ABS-ABN News correspondent.